connection. That's hilarious. I lost connection already. What is going on? I only got to say good morning and bam, I was booted out of here. How is everybody going? You're here with Kylie Pax, Australia's emotional eating coach. You know the drill. I'm here to empower you to take control of your relationship with food, create that body and a life that you love more than chocolate because you get to do it all Mm, deliciously on your terms. If you're joining me here live, throw me an emoji in the comments box. Throw me an emoji in the comments box. I'm not sure that I, I've gotten a little scattered now this morning. That freaked me right out. <laughs> throw me some likes and some loves as you're arriving. Let me know that you're here because I have the coolest, coolest thing to share with you today. For our Monday, we are diving into the end of September. I have the word for the week, the word for the week, because I want to tell you, we are making this whole gig with the eating and the weight loss and the emotional eating and the drama, it's, we're making it so much harder than it needs to be. And that's why I titled it, you are making this too hard. You're making it too difficult. So if you're joining me here live, throw me that emoji, throw me some likes and some loves, because the word for this week is... Dun, 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 dun. structure structure is our word for the week this whole sort of thing we make life our life we make it bigger and scarier and more freaked out in our head than it ever needs to be we wake up in the morning before we even get out of bed we all like are uh, you know we're thinking about all the things that did go wrong yesterday the things that could go wrong today and things that are for sure going to go wrong tomorrow and then you don't even want to get out of bed yes Joe's in the house. What's up, baby? It's so good to see you here. You haven't joined me live before. No? Yes, you have. Yes, you have. I'm sending you so much love. It's so awesome to be with you on Monday. But this is the drill, right? We freak ourselves out before we even get out of bed in the morning. We're all like, oh my God, you know, these are the things that definitely were like hideous from yesterday. These are the things that, you know, for sure are going to just rock my world today and can't even think about tomorrow. Who knows what's going to happen tomorrow? So this is what I'm talking about today. This is our week for creating some structure around in and around our lives because I will tell you I googled structure this morning I did structure and I hung out we had a google date and this is what google says structure is right structure means to arrange the relationship between the parts or elements of something complex right complex like uh, insert your own life there right to give a pattern or organization to so I thought about this right thought about it I thought what if this week we as a community sort of arrange the relationship between ourselves and our lives between ourselves between yourself and your life they're both yours they both start with the word your right so they're yours they belong to you yourself and your life what if we just took it on board and decided I'm going to start to give some structure to myself and my life and the relationship, the complex relationship between the two. So if you're feeling me, hey, hey Michelle, how are you going, honey? I thought you were um, doing something very, way more exciting this week. I wasn't sure I was going to see you today. How's it going, Brutus in the house? It's so great to have you all here. So this is what we're talking about. If you're just joining me live now, we are talking about creating some structure because we are making this way too hard for ourselves. The relationship between ourselves and food, our, ourselves and our bodies, ourselves and weight loss, all of it is us and something else. Us and something else. And we are having this conflict of interest between the two all the time. We're talking about, good morning, I love those emojis. Thank you so much, honey. We are talking about creating some structure between yourself and your life this week. The word for the week, the theme for the week is structure. We're talking about structure. Every week we have a different theme um, and this week we're doing structure. So I'm talking about, when I say structure, I'm not talking about a schedule. No, no. Schedules, we've all done the schedules, right? Scheduling is like get up at 6 a.m., work out by 6.05, um, you know, <laughs> work out harder by 7.05 and then hate my body by 7.15, right? That's a schedule. That's a schedule. And the thing with schedules is they make you feel really, 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 really crappy when you can't stick to them, which we never do can't because life gets in the way something happens you can't make your 6 a.m workout but we always find time to hate our bodies at 7 15 right we've always insert that into the schedule that pops up many times in our schedule but i'm not talking about a schedule i'm talking about some structure structure between you and your life this week right schedules will make you feel like a failure 
structure will sort of give you guidelines and space and openness and options. Structure gives you options. Once you have structure between yourself and your life, you've got guidance and options, right? Schedules are rigid and hard and you feel like a big ass failure when you can't stick to them, right? Yes. Michelle said, yeah, all my inner control free heard was structure. Right, 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 right. Okay, no. Well, so I'm talking about structure, which is more gentle and expansive and open as opposed to a schedule, which is rigid and hard and makes you feel hideous when you can't stick to it, which we never can. We have all the best intentions in the world with our fancy schedules, but that don't work because life is complex. Just like Google said, structure will allow you to give some guidance and and you know structure to the things that you want to create so what i'm talking about here is really sort of um coming from a place of purpose and intent with deciding this week what it is that you want to feel and how you want to go about creating that feeling sarah's in the house it's so great to have you here honey this is what i'm talking about we're talking about creating some structure the theme for the week is structure not schedules we are booting those schedules out the door we're talking about creating structure in our lives so that the relationship between us and our food is a little more expansive and we have options the relationship between ourselves and our bodies is a little more expansive we have options we don't have to hate ourselves 24 7 we can create some new options different decisions with purpose and intent about how do I want to feel and what are the best ways for me to go about creating those feelings this week it's just a general structure right it's not a rigid schedule this is what we're talking about. Tell me, it's so great to have you here. So this is the drill this week for everybody who's dropping on live. We're talking about the theme for this week is structure and how schedules just make you hate, hate, hate yourself even more and run, run, run to food even more. When you can't stick to your schedule because you had your fancy plans, you want to do the plans, the plans never work. They never work. As like I said a little earlier, you know, your plan, your structure is, what? Well, sorry, not your structure, your schedule is, Get up by 6.15, you know, get up by 6, be exercising by 6.05 and insert body hatred by 7.15, right? Because you still think that you're still fat and it's all hideous. So this is what we're talking about, right? Shelby, how are you going? We are talking about, if you're feeling me this week, the theme for the week is structure. So if you're feeling me, throw me some likes and some loves because this is the drill. Schedules push you down lower and, you know, insert massive failure at that point. Structure is just a general guideline. It's an, it's more open, it's more expansive, and what it does is give you options so that you're not constantly running, running, running to the food every night, thank you, when you get home because you're so exhausted or you've had just such a bad day or you feel like I've had a good day so now I still need to reward myself. Sometimes food for us is comfort and if it's not comfort, then it's reward. So if you've never heard my very famous saying before, let me just insert it right here. Rewards are for dogs. Treats are for dogs. We are stunning, fabulous human beings. And as a community of fab fabulous, empowered women, we don't need to treat ourselves. We're not dogs, right? Food is something you deserve to have anytime that you deserve to have it in an amount that makes you feel good and your body, right? Because the mind always going to go eat, eat, eat and never stop. But your body at some point when you listen is going to go, that's enough now. It's enough. You know it's there. You can go back and you can get more, right? Thank you so much. Yeah. So this is where we're at. This is where we're at this week. As we scoot on into the final week of September, we are adding some structure so that we can move forward into the final quarter of 2016. Eek. Eek, right? And know that we have expansiveness and options that are available to us. Don't start the close of you know year panic now and think, oh, can't bear to end 2016 without losing that 15 kilos that I promised myself I was going to lose by January, except I've actually added two or three more or five or six. And now I'm really getting into panic mode. And also don't go into the mode of, well, it's nearly Christmas. Who cares now? I'll start again in January. We here in the KP family... We have ditched the whole start again attitude. We don't do the start again. Start again sends you on a massive binge between now and the time you're going to start again. But of course, when you do start again, you you know something trips you up because you've made you you've made your schedule not structure. You've made a schedule and a plan that you have to stick to. And of course, something goes wrong, trips you up. You feel like a failure. 
and in again massive binge 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 till next monday when we're going to start again again right so this is how we roll this is how we roll this is just a short and sweet message for you today as we head on into the final leg of september i want you this week our theme is structure so start to think about it what do i actually want for myself what feelings is it that i want to generate in myself in my heart in my body in my whole entire life and what is the best structure i can adapt that is going to take me down that path right yes shall we say yeah i love this message i need to turn my rigid schedule Mm. yeah into a flexible structure exactly it took me the longest time and all of your words of wisdom to realize that i'm not on a strict timeline to get yeah to get everything right mm. happy monday she says thank you so much beautiful yes 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 there is no timeline apart from the timelines we create which are more <laughs> rigid schedules that send us on the big binge trip so i love 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 what shelby's sharing here honey i love that so so much because yeah this is structure structure is flexible structure moves right you look at a tree i'm just like i'm seeing the trees outside my window this is fabulous palm tree out here right you see a palm tree it has a general structure it does its general thing but when the wind blows like it is now it sways, it moves, it's flexible, there's expansiveness, there's openness for other things to occur, right? So that is what we want with our structure. That This is our week of structure where it's a structure September, structure September, we're ending September with structure, not schedules. So um, if you have any questions or anything you want to share, throw them in the comments box and let me know because I really want to sort of put this through to you today. And as we do, because as you do know... <laughs> As you know, the final, um, the one time only round of Ditch the Diet online bootcamp that I'm running with private coaching included, I <laughs> thank you so much, has started today, right now, boom, right now, today. So if you wanted to join us, there is absolutely still time at kyliepacks.com forward slash bootcamp private coaching. And you can jump on and join in because this is what we're talking about. This is exactly what we're talking about. Creating some structure, ditching the schedules that send you on the big binge fest and creating some structure and an aligned plan that is going to work for you and your body. Because the women that I work with, basically, you know, you know right, if you've been dieting for a thousand years and you're still not happy with your weight, it's like the whole calories, jumping on the bathroom scale, it's torturing you in your mind every single day. All you think about is food, you know, how much can I eat? When did I eat last? When can I eat next? And oh my God, I'm so still afraid of the food because it's just going to make me fat. And you can't really believe at this point in your life that you're still dealing with this problem this is what the boot camp is designed for for so if that sounds like you then yeah it's designed for you and as i said there is still time to join us at kyliepacks.com forward slash boot camp private coaching because we are spending six weeks together drilling down into this creating a general creating a general um you know a general guideline yes and structure but it's unique and it's designed for you by you right with me right there so this is the drill I, I'm really so excited about it because I cannot wait this is something I've never done before and I'm not gonna be running it again this is a one time only I know it's quite intense and I want it to be with you every step of the way as we go through the boot camp together so that you've got that guidance and that support because that is what's gonna make sure you see it all the way through to the end and really get the changes that you want to see not just in the mindset around the whole like okay i've got it now food no longer torments me but the body as well because you always hear me say right i am big yes i'm on the body love movement I'm, I'm all over the body love movement i am but i'm also not one to go and so now you should just love your body and stay at the size that you're at miserable uncomfortable and never do anything about it no body love i don't believe that's what body love is so i'm just going to put my two cents worth in here i don't believe that body love means you need to stay in a body that's a larger size than you're comfortable with just because you should love it exactly how it is yes you should love it how it is you can't hate your way to happiness you've heard me say before yes you should love it how it is but you don't need to stay there you don't need to stay there we can progress and move forward with love and kindness which is what the structure the structure is all about schedules are not going to get you there they're just not. I'll tell you right now. They're not. How can I say that with complete confidence? Because I spent 30 years mapping out schedules every Monday. I had a fresh new schedule every Monday. I had a fresh schedule with my timelines. It was all there. And I would progress from, you know, back in the day. 
back in the day I had little diaries and things like that and then as times moved on I was all over the Excel spreadsheets I had the things going on so that I could really map it out and really map my progress and log things in the apps and really get the results that I wanted to see but all it did ultimately and for any of you who have tried it let me know all it did was reinforce how bad I felt about myself did not make me feel better about myself I could possibly keep to the strict schedule for maybe a few hours of the day and then life would get in the way things would happen and I would feel like the massive failure and I would start deleting things from my excel spreadsheet pretend that they were never there so that I could um fool myself into thinking that I didn't really fail I didn't because I'm deleting stuff now and I'm rearranging I would spend so much time and energy doing this that the time and energy that I put into that would have created massive momentum for me massive if I had simply created some structure and allow myself to breathe allow myself to make the actions and decisions that felt good and in alignment for me with intention with the intention of ultimately getting to where I want to go from a place of love and kindness instead of getting to where I thought I needed to be from a place of this is hideous and not acceptable and it needs to go immediately, whatever the cost. So this is what I'm telling you. This is what I want to share with you today. So if this sounds like you, then yeah, kyliepangster.com forward slash bootcamp private coaching. We are starting right now today, but as I said, there is still time to join us. There's a couple of positions still open because it's only for 10 women, 10. So I'm sending you so much love. Thank you to everybody who's joined me here live. If you have any questions or comments or anything that you want to share, there are a couple of options and different ways you can do that, as you know. You can throw your comments here and I will come back and play with you later or by all means, private message me. I love chatting with you I really really do and I want to thank you and send love and gratitude to everybody who has been messaging me I believe as I did say last week I don't think social media like the point of social media is about people just getting out there and barking out useless information or standing up on a pedestal and saying they're so much better and you should all listen to me no I think it's about connection it's about connection so that we can all connect people uh, that we would never have had an opportunity to get to know in any other way this is an incredible um an incredible opportunity for all of us. So if you're in the community, if you're in the KP community, I want to hear from you. Send me a private message and let me know. Let me know where you're at in your journey because I really, really want to be able to get to know you a whole lot better. I think you're fabulous. And I'm sending you so much love for our fabulous, fabulous Monday where we are having our theme for the week. You know how we roll. Thank you so much. We are rolling into a week of structure. I'm sending you love. Thank you so, so much. And I look forward to seeing you tomorrow because you know the only person who has the power to change your life is you. And when you can adapt and adopt some structure, you're going to be good. You've got what it takes. <laughs> See you tomorrow, guys. Bye for now.